Good luck with that. So, what do I want to draw today? I can't actually tell. Oh, here you can redraw your first platform. Well, I don't want to. You know what? For consistency. It's good to have a little bit of redness on the edge of skin usually, because that's just how skin looks in real life. The the light goes through the the thinner bits of skin um, and, and turns kind of red. Boom. I don't think we're going for that level of detail here. See, the, the thing is, leaving this guy alive for the moment actually means I can just scratch away at this without having to worry about someone else respawning, which is kind of nice. Where am I? Now, I'm either going to have to improve my coordination here or um, start using a more visible cursor for this stuff. This is going to be kind of an issue. Oh, I tried to do that before. Sorry. It sounded very painful. Oh, interesting. You have to jump before you can do a ground pound. You can't just fall. Money, just robbing money from evil's houses. That's what a hero does. Get in there. Yeah, the, the momentum that you have in your platform in this game is a little bit peculiar. You can get used to it, but it's not something I would have expected. It's not something many games have, and I think for good reason. But that's not to say it can't be made to work. I think it works okay here. I like your design. You look nice. I'll express my feelings with this bullet. Alright. But... They're animated really nicely too. Jeez. Yeah, this game of is just good to look at. But the funny part is that by comparison it makes all the stuff you draw look terrible by comparison. I feel like if this game had more of um, Instead of going for like a this is the best looking DS game ever aesthetic, um, if they went for more of a like scribbly aesthetic, that might have worked better with the player drawing a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure. But I can't complain either about looking at all this stuff and it just looking nice, so. What do we draw today? Using the shadow goo. I get I I am the creator of all this shadow stuff too, apparently. Is, <laughs> I guess the, the the creator here is... Are they so malevolent or benevolent? I'm not sure. They, they create all the, the Raposa, but they also create the things that threaded the Raposa, apparently. Okay. Well, in that case... I will actually just use the outline the game gives me in this case. But with being a little bit variable is, is acceptable. I could also make it like, instead of shadow goo, I can make it like globs of doom goo or something like that instead. That would be entertaining. I think my idea right now is a little bit different. Uh, hmm. Is this palette going to be a little bit better for me? Uh, I want like a... Like a... Oh, that's purple. I want like a really dark gray. Oh geez, that didn't look at all like what I thought it was going to be. Was there a graphical bug there or something? That, that was not what I thought that was going to look like. I'm not sure. And you can see the palette actually changes the... You can only use one palette. Um, yeah, I guess that might be what I have to work with here. I don't have any dark grays like I want here. Um, that's since it's shadow goo. 
I get like a nice big red stripe. There you go. That's what makes it shadow go. Specifically. Oh! That did not work. Oh, I think you fall through it is the thing. Yeah, okay. You fall through it. Why do I draw myself things that impede my progress? It's a very strange idea I had there. Boom. I'm not above coming into your house and shooting you, evidently. I'm pretty sure you get a better melee attack at some point. I don't remember this being the melee attack you use. Okay, you can shoot in the air, but you can't punch in the air. Well, it's not really even a punch, it's just a it's a very funny looking shove. Running start. Yeah. Well, you can slide. I, I, I'm certain I had tried sliding before. Because like, any game where I see a slope like that, I want to slide on things immediately. Just instinct. Oh, collisions. Come on. There we go. Oh, pfft. Okay, that's not where I thought that coin would go. Okay, I guess I should probably go here first. Whoops. I want to look. Oh, someone died. Sorry. How'd that bat die? There's no way we're finishing this all this episode, by the way. Just as a warning. Cindy, there you are. I was hoping that would not be a building we could actually enter, in fact. So I wanted to try to keep some of my memory of which parts of this area I've already explored. Because as you can see, they're not above hiding like actually useful stuff in this little maze that we're in right now. I didn't already shoot you. They skipped that dialogue there. Right, what's down here? And that's into this area. I may have to cut things off here. I kind of. I used up more time than I had in one of the earlier episodes when I spent a lot of time drawing something silly, unfortunately. So... Do I? Um... Oh, wonderful. More harmful things. Uh, that was a net gain, I guess? So... Did someone just put up a sign just now to let me know that avalanche? That was very kind. But, um, as I was saying, kind of used up time that I didn't really have in earlier episodes, so I'm going to have to make this one shorter. Which will probably take the form of um, cutting this episode short, unfortunately. Pattern. Nice. Stuff to find all these levels. Jeez. Very, very maze like level design, which is contributed to in part by how small your, your view is. Oh man. There you go. Try to get to this one area if that's possible. And then cut things off. Whoops. Yeah, now I'm rushing and getting myself out. 
But it's hard not to uh, get hit by enemies off from just off screen sometimes because of how small the screen is. Things are getting very snowy here. I remember this game not being super forgiving when it came to uh, taking damage from things and whatnot. to save here. Isaac's wife, who just doesn't have a name. Okay. I don't know why we didn't call her by that name. Uh, apparently able to speak. We're doing that kind of weird silent protagonist that actually does speak in universe sort of thing. I'm not sure why that is. Especially since Crater is apparently able to speak to people in their own right, so it seems kind of redundant, but we might actually be at the end of level here, so... would work out well timing-wise. We're probably gonna have cutscene action to this, which would be a problem. Um, still an okay place for an episode, though. And we'll just have the, the cutscene and whatnot ep next episode. Really? Okay, no, we're gonna have to do this next time. We absolutely don't have time for this. So I'll see you next time. We'll keep on drawing things. I think this will be fairly fun. I, I remember this game having some nice charm to it. I just can't remember much of it for some reason, but I I'm seeing it again. And it it's fun just being silly and doodling silly stuff. Anyways, bye everyone. Sorry for the, the short episode this time.